Henry Howard Holmes was an American serial killer in the late 1800s. Probably because it was way easier to get away with shit back then. Now, his real name wasn't Henry. No, his real name was Herman Mudgett. <laughs> Fucking Herman Mudgett. Nobody's gonna be scared of a guy named Herman. You know, and evidently he realized this. So he took it upon himself to change his name to Triple H. You know, after that farming program for kids and that professional wrestler. He wasn't just a serial killer, he was also a con man. Probably because his parents were Methodists. For those of you that don't know, Methodists are people that smoke a lot of meth. Now Triple H had a bunch of killings. Most of them took place at this place called the Murder Castle, which was a hotel he owned. And if you ask me, if you go to a hotel called the Murder Castle, you kind of pay what you get for, you know what I'm saying? I mean, murder castles in the goddamn name, you fucking idiot. It's really your fault when it comes down to it. Anyway, so what he decided to do was, he says to himself, he says, Henry, because he didn't call himself Herman anymore because that name's a fucking loser name. He says to himself, Henry, how can I pay for my own torture room and not get caught by the police? So you know what he decided to do? He says to himself, I'm gonna make a hotel, and in that hotel I'm gonna build a bunch of secret rooms, and I'm gonna steal shit from all the contractors. Yeah, that way when they walked through and they couldn't find their gear, he'd be like, I don't know why it is. And that plan worked out so good, ladies and gentlemen. He says, I should do that with people. Then. He started killing a lot of motherfuckers here. He built little mazes and he built like drop walls so that way people would fall through the floor into a vat of acid and then you know he would sell their bones to people and then he found this guy named uh, Benjamin Pretzel or Patel or something stupid like that anyway. Benji had this wicked ass coal bin and so what Henry would do is he would stick him in the coal bin which I guess turn bodies into coal and he would sell that to Santa Claus and Santa Claus would give the coal out to all the little asshole kids who didn't behave that year. Now this Triple H guy, he wasn't all roses. He was a fucking wife beater. What kind of asshole beats his wife? I mean, yeah, maybe your sister, uh, maybe if your mistress gets a little too mouthy or, you know, that little girl Susie who charges $4 for chocolate dinners. I'm not paying $4 for a box of chocolate angel wings, Susie. You could hit them people, but your wife? Dick move, dude. Dick move. The wife left him. She was the smart one, so she survived. He ended up killing his mistress and he devised a plan with his best friend, Pretzel. And he was like, hey, Pretzel, what we could do is we could fake your death and then I'll collect the insurance money and I'll share it with you and your family and then we'll get it all together, we'll be rich. And Pretzel says, that sounds like a good idea. But you know what happened? Boom! Holmes fucking killed him. So they caught him in Boston where they make cream pies. Then they hanged him because he fucking deserved it. And that's the story of Triple H. Oh, yeah, and he also wasn't that good of a serial killer. I mean, he confessed to killing 27 people, but I mean, some of those people were still alive, like his friend from college, Dr. Robert Leacock. I mean, the guy has cock in his name.